Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist oh Jay Cardosi. I can't win for losing here, let me tell you. Uh, yeah, I, I'll be the first to admit some of my plants look horrible. They've looked horrible all summer long. I was on Facebook asking folks, what do I do? A lot of folks are saying, just tear them out. They're likely dead. So uh, we're going to have to wait and see, right? All right, uh, let's talk frost and freeze dates going forward. Now, we're not expecting any widespread frost or freezing conditions close to home anytime soon, but just put this on your calendar, if you would. The average date of the first frost in Louisville is typically late October. That's when temperatures dip down to around 36 degrees. The first freeze, 32 degrees or lower. Lower. That's November 4th, and the first real hard freeze. Uh, that happens when temperatures are 28 degrees or colder for several hours. That typically happens during the mid part of November. Now, we do have some pretty chilly conditions we're expecting overnight tonight, uh, but as far as frost and freeze advisories, nothing in the viewing area, but not too far away. The shading of blue in central Indiana through uh, southern portions of Ohio. That's a frost advisory that has been issued. Just goes to show you, we're getting later and later into the season, right? Boy, it's been a beautiful day, hasn't it? Lots of afternoon sunshine. Had a couple of sprinkles this morning, but nice temperature. 71 the afternoon high, morning start at 50, and again, a couple of sprinkles this morning. Right now, it's dry, partly cloudy, and 68. Humidity 31%, a west-northwesterly breeze in here. Kind of gusty still, 15 to 20 miles an hour, but that will quickly come down once the sun goes below the horizon. We have lots of low and middle 60s across southern portions of Indiana, upper 60s from the metro and points south, and Munfordville holding on to the warm spot in the viewing area in Hart County, coming in with an even 70. How about that weather in motion? It's just been a delightful autumn afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. All right, that green you see off to the east, those are the sprinkles that passed through here this morning. That system continues to rapidly race towards the mid-Atlantic. Behind it and in our area, we're going to stay dry for several days the way it's looking. And we will, we will see a big time warm up later in the work week. Now for this evening, going to get kind of cool. So if you have outdoor plans that walk around the block, mid 60s at 7, will transition into the middle 50s by 11 o'clock tonight. And when you wake up in the morning, many, many spots, low 40s. I think in the downtown area, around 46. But you know those favored low spots, those spots that typically get a little bit colder and everybody else, some patchy frost could form. But the better chances, as I talked about earlier, will stay off to the north of our region. Here's tomorrow. Boy, after that chilly start, oh, it looks to be a beautiful afternoon. Tons of sunshine. Temperatures tomorrow topping out in the upper 60s and low 70s. Here's your forecast for this evening. Becoming clear, quiet and cool. 60s back into the 50s. Your 12-hour detailed forecast for your Tuesday. We start chilly, but we end up very, very pleasant. Temperatures will warm into the upper 60s and low 70s. 72 the high here in town. Vicki, look at this warm up. 83 Thursday, 82 Friday. That's nice. Yes, it is. And another cold front moves through with it a chance for showers and storms Friday night into Saturday morning. And we're back in the low 60s for highs as another slug of autumn air builds in here for the weekend. When should we put the plants in the car, though? Take them out. One of our coworkers just texted and said, remember, remember she put her plants in the car to prevent the frost? She saved them, though, didn't she? Do it again. Yeah, she